Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Parallax Abstraction, and welcome to another episode of Retro Flash Forward, showcasing gaming's roots in the current generation. Wait, what? What? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know. That was... Okay, that was a lame joke, but whatever. So, yeah, one of the first games I took a look at on this show was DuckTales for the NES, and I did that at the time because... Capcom blew everybody's mind by announcing that they were doing a remastered version for a whole bunch of different modern systems. And I was like, oh man, that could be so friggin' awesome. And yeah, I decided I was going to do something a little bit different this time around. I say that a lot, I know. But we're actually taking a look at a modern game, but I still consider it retro because it's a remake of an older game. So, here we are. We are looking at DuckTales Remastered. First thing I'm going to say is, listen to this. Oh god, that's so good! And yeah, that's one of the first things I'm going to say about this game that is really amazing is they have blended retro and modern music soundscapes in a way that is just friggin' fantastic. I absolutely love it. This game has a perfect blend of the original NES score mixed in with modern instrumentation and oh, it's just so wonderful. I, I absolutely love it. So. This game has come out on a bunch of different platforms. We're looking at the version on the PC right now. I have a 360 pad hooked up. It's also on PS3 and Wii U. Um, and it is coming out on the Xbox 360 in about a month for some reason, as of this recording. Don't ask me why, I don't know. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go a little Total Biscuit here. And because this is a PC game, we're going to take a look at the options menu and quickly talk about the quality of the port. <laughs> okay, so... Not a lot of options as you can see. Not really necessarily a big deal because this is a 2.5D game, which you're going to see. Basically it's 3D backgrounds, but all the character art is 2D sprites. Really good looking sprites too. So that's kind of understandable. Um, they also have this neat setting called Hard Pogo, which basically, in the original game, this is how you activated your Pogo stick attack, which is rather important to this game. And it was a little tricky sometimes, but because, I'm presuming because they realize that the 360 controller is terrible for this stuff, they have, if you turn hard pogo off, it's just a button. I don't know, some people might consider that cheating, I don't, because that's what I'm using. And, yeah, the only other two problems with this PC version are that it's locked at 30 frames a second, which is probably because of, that's what the animation of the sprites was drawn at. Kind of understandable, but kind of lame. And, well, really annoying problem, I have a two-monitor setup here, and this game insists on running on my secondary monitor, which is not nearly as good as my main monitor. Don't know why, can't seem to fix it. Uh, I also noticed when Giant Bomb did a quick look at this game that they had problems uh, with the game crashing in one of the extras menus, so I don't know if that's been fixed yet or not. Anyway, enough of that. You want to know what the meat of this sucker is, so let's dig right in. And, well, I'm going to tell you... It's DuckTales. They remade DuckTales in H friggin D. No word of a lie. So what are the additions? Well, there's a tutorial level that I've already done and I'm not going to show you two here. There is the ability to go into... you can select levels and you can also go into Scrooge McDuck's Money Vault, which you can swim around in, in proper Scrooge McDuck style. And I got an achievement because it's my first time in here. This is kind of cute, I guess. Really kind of meaningless, but a nice little homage to the series. This vault will actually fill up more as you earn more money, which is this game's method of score. Which I think is kind of neat, I guess. And they've also added a narrative to this. Now this is where a lot of people are kind of like, ah, I'm not so sure about it. So here's all the unlockables that you can get by earning different amounts of money through the game. This is cool, it's mostly character art, concept art, special renders and stuff. I don't find this stuff too interesting, but a lot of people do, and it's neat that it's there. So yeah, they added the narrative to this game. Uh, there are stories and voice acted cutscenes, which, well, I'm gonna show you what's both good and bad about that right now. So, again, this is DuckTales, so it's all the different environments that you can attack in any order you want. The levels, in many ways, are designed... they're very, very similar to the originals. Um, some people say there's some differences. I haven't really noticed any yet. So you can pick whatever ones you want and attack them in whatever way you want. So we're gonna start with the Amazon here quick, and I'm gonna show you this. 
Get Launchpad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king. Yep. Voice acting. And it's... So, there's a good and a bad part to this. The good part, it's all the original cast, as far as I can tell. It's the guy who played Scrooge McDuck and all his nephews and Launchpad and everyone is original. That's pretty amazing. Thanks for the lift, Launchpad. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an airhead. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McGee, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. Anyway, so I'm not going to let this keep going here. I'm going to talk over it. I think I've given you a good idea of it, though. So there's good and bad. The good is they got the original cast, and I think that's really impressive considering DuckTales is 25 freaking years old, thereabouts. The downside to it... One, the writing is not very good. Um, there's a lot of jokes in this game that fall friggin' flat as a pancake. And you know what's weird about it is, honestly, it it feels like they're, they're like that because they were trying to write this game for kids. Which I don't understand because this is, this game, you know, mo most young kids these days probably don't even know what DuckTales is. And this game is very clearly designed to appeal to the people who are into the original. So I don't understand why you would want to write the dialogue as if kids were young kids were playing it. It just doesn't make sense to me. And yeah, as a result, the writing is pretty bad, and most of the most of the jokes are are pretty weak sauce. I've got to say. And yeah, the the voice actors of the nephews seem to put in pretty good performances. But the guy who plays Scrooge McDuck, and I apologize for not researching the names of the actors beforehand. He just, his delivery feels very deadpan and emotionless. It really doesn't feel as though, it really doesn't feel as though he's putting much effort into it. It kind of honestly sounds like he's just here for a paycheck. And that's a real shame, because... Another coin, and this one has an inscription of an eagle. You see what I mean? Like he just—he he just sounds like he's reading off the page. It doesn't sound like he's—he's really—he's really into it. I don't know. Some people, your, your mileage may vary on that, but I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of that. The good thing is all the cutscenes can be skipped by bringing up the menu. So if you're really not into that, and I mean honestly, the story's meaningless, right? It's—it's—it's it's, it's Ducktales. You're here to do some. Um, you're here to collect treasure and stomp on guys' heads and find stuff in the environment. That's kind of the whole point, right? So, and yeah, that so that that's the thing. It's it's oh boy. So that's the core tenets of this game. And the good thing is is that they have maintained that through and through. And this is where I'm finding a lot of reviews that I've read of this game really frustrating. You know, reviews are subjective, yada, 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 you know, one man's opinion and all that. But the thing that really frustrates me about this is I've seen so many reviews going on and on about how, oh, this game, it's, you know, it's literally the originals, the levels are the same, it's, it's too hard, it's, it's, you know, it's super punishing, it's... You know, the gameplay is not very fair, and, oh, uh, you know, we really want something more in our remakes. This is just literally the original with better graphics. And I'm kind of like, what the hell is people's problems, honestly? Like, this is what frustrates me so much about a lot of the modern gaming press, is people say they're tired of everything being homogenized and being watered down to have broader appeal, quote-unquote. And they say, you know, we want... We want uh, uh -huh. a coin bearing the image of the queen. You know, horse. when people talk about a remake, talked about a remake of DuckTales, a lot. Of, I heard lots of people on podcasts and on websites say, "Oh man, if I could just get the original DuckTales in HD, that would be friggin' amazing." And now we've got it, and everyone's complaining that, "Oh, it's just the original DuckTales in HD. They didn't change anything, and they didn't. They didn't make it any. They didn't improve it, and it's. It's. You know." 
it's just the original and it's still too hard and blah 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 and all that's true but the name of the game is DuckTales Remastered like I, I kind of don't understand what people wanted out of it Back in bags, boys. And I'll agree that some of the the and additions that they made, such as the story the and the voice acting in that, were pretty unnecessary and kind of detract from it a little bit. Like I said, I suspect that was something that Disney insisted be done in order to to get this to get this put out again. But it, I mean, it's definitely the original. But I mean, look at this. this is it, kids. Like this is absolutely Dracula. gorgeous. Home like the, the 2D art in this game is just mind blowing. The yeah, the, the stuff realm. that's 3D is pretty simplistic and doesn't work very well. Oh, and it's you know it 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 doesn't really blend well necessarily. But this 2D art is is just incredible. I I absolutely love it. All right, we're gonna skip this cinematic here because we're running a little long. So you can see now here where the 3D blends with the 2D, and, and yeah, and it's a little deal. jarring, and it doesn't look, like look so good, and no the fact that the, you know, all the animations on these sprites are kind of pre-canned, is it's a little, like, it's a little weird that we're seeing everybody talk to each other here, and they're not actually moving their mouths. That's a little strange, but, you know, minor things, to be honest. I mean, they could have done this in completely... You know, they could have done this game completely in 3D if they wanted to, but they actually went, no, you know what, we, people want 2D, this game was in 2D, and we should be respectful of not only the original game, but of the animated property as well, by doing it in proper two-dimensional artwork, and I think that's really, really cool. And I guess my main thing is I just don't understand... This is a game where people can't seem to, you know, reviewers can't seem to make up the, their mind what they want. Everybody, a lot of people said, oh man, I would love to see DuckTales in HD, and they got it, and now they're complaining that it's not different enough. But most of this industry spends, most of the gaming press industry spends its time talking about how modern games aren't different enough and not original enough. I don't know. Like I said, everyone's entitled to their opinion, of course, but that, I don't know, that viewpoint just feels a little bit hypocritical to me, if you ask me. But I'm really liking this for what it is. It's, you know, I, I really love the original DuckTales, and this is definitely that, but they have made a couple of cool additions, so... As you as you've been plainly seeing here from been seeing here from watching me play it, this game is still balls hard. The original DuckTales was balls hard despite being a kids game, and this is still very much that. And blah 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 blah. And yeah, this game is still without a doubt very very difficult and very very punishing. But to accommodate newer more casual players, there is an easy mode now. Some might say that the easy mode does go a little bit too far in the other direction because in easy mode you get unlimited lives and double the health. That's kind of unfortunate because I think there's a way that you could have made the game easier and more accessible without just basically making it a baby mode. I, I think they could have done better than that. I think it, there could have been a happy medium in between the two, but yeah, I don't know. That might change later on. But yeah, I mean, it's 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 DuckTales with, with better art. You know, the enemies are the same, the strategies are the same, the levels are largely the same, the objectives are the same. And there is one other cool thing that we do have here, which is, as you can see, there's a map. Now, this is not, this ain't no Metroidvania game, that's for sure, but it definitely, the map does help a little bit because it was easily possible to get lost in some of these levels. And when... Enemies endlessly respawn when you scroll them off screen and scroll back on, which this game still does. And when... Ooh, here we go. So when you do have that, and when running out of lives does mean that you have to restart the entire level, it is nice to see where you've, where you've been in the level and, you know, where you have to go. And if you have to go, okay, I, I need to figure out my way, you know, my way out of here. I don't want to be backtracking forever. I think that's a cool addition because that does respect the fact that gamers don't necessarily 
you know, gamers of today don't have the level of time that we did back in the NES days, you know. The people who this game is targeted for, and that's the thing, and that's what I actually really respect about this game, and that I think it's not getting credit for. This game is very clearly targeted first and, and foremost in original DuckTales fans like myself. This is not designed to, to reach kids of today. This is not designed to reach casual gamers. They're hoping that people who have nostalgic memories of DuckTales will spread the word and that will draw in new players. But this game honestly is a love letter to fans of this series. It's the original game done with better graphics and an amazing new soundtrack and voice acting that while it maybe doesn't hit the mark, you know, does do honor to the original cast members by involving them in it. And, you know, why would you go through that effort for a series that's this old if you weren't trying to appeal to the core fans of it first and foremost? And that's definitely the, what they were going for here. And what I like is the fact that the map is here. You only get it by completely pausing the game, which means, again, it's optional. If you want to play the game the way it was meant to be played, then just don't pay attention to the map. If you have to pause the game, look away and don't look at the map, and you don't you don't Get need it. Down from here. Apparently, that's a would be a little bit harder to do on the Wii U version because on the Wii U, the the uh, the, the gamepad is always showing the map unless you're playing in off TV mode. So that's a bit of a bummer. But again, you know, you could just not look at your at your gamepad if you didn't want to. There are always solutions. And I, I really respect this game for what it is. You know, I may, I may never finish it. I like to finish games, but I may never finish this because you know what? The original DuckTales was ridiculously hard, and I may finish it either on easy or just give up on it uh, by while playing it on hard. And there's nothing wrong with that. But honestly, I think this I, I think that in terms of what this game set out to do, it's friggin' fantastic. It's set out to be a DuckTales game that was designed to appeal to hardcore fans of DuckTales, and it does that in spades. It really, really does. And I think I think the original DuckTales is still historically important. I think people should definitely check that out if they want. But this is a fantastic and faithful, faithful remake, and I think it's. Uh, I think they did a. I think Way Forward did an amazing job. I think this was right in their wheelhouse, and I really do think that this game has been taking a lot of unfair stick in reviews because we got to go to the moon, right? I mean, you gotta. I think this game has really been taking a lot of unfair stick in reviews because of uh, because people. People say they wanted a remade DuckTales, but they also didn't. They didn't want like they wanted a remade DuckTales, but they also wanted it to have a whole bunch of modern tropes and mechanics and also apparently to be substantially easier. And if that's what you want, then you don't want a remake of DuckTales and you kind of got to make up your mind. You either want a new DuckTales Gosh, game Mr. McDuck, that I've never been to the moon does everything very differently mm -hmm. and thus is not really well, a DuckTale, a new DuckTales game or an original no, DuckTales game, mm -hmm. or you want the original mm -hmm. remade, and that's what Why we got here. And I think shoot? that's what I think that's what. I don't really think reviewers represent the true fans of this series here. I think this maybe wasn't what the reviewers wanted, but it's what the fans wanted, and it's definitely what I wanted. So. I can't speak to this on other platforms, but I, I presume it runs fine everywhere. Um, the PC version of this is a little bit lacking. To be fair, WayForward doesn't tend to do a lot of PC games. Not that I think that's really an excuse. If they didn't have the chops to do the PC version properly, they probably should have handed it to somebody else. But the problems that I've seen with this, which principally revolve around the game that running on the like wrong monitor could be easily second. corrected and hopefully they will do that hopefully they will correct a couple of crashing yeah. issues there have been as well <laughs> this means I'm but uh, yeah I like this a lot and if you don't have fond memories of DuckTales and you don't have fond memories of of playing this type of game and you don't have interest in this type of really hard platformer then yeah it's probably not for you but it also wasn't made for you if you love DuckTales and 
really wanted to play DuckTales in HD, you got it. And it's only 15 bucks, which frankly, I think is a bargain for what you're getting. I would highly recommend it to people who like DuckTales, and preferably people who aren't so bloody bad at it like I am. <laughs> so yeah, that is DuckTales Remastered. Developed by WayForward Technologies and published by Capcom. We're looking at the PC version, but it is also out on PlayStation 3, Wii U, and it will be coming to Xbox 360 in September 2013. Yeah, play it if you like DuckTales. I want to see more games like this, and people need to support it in order to make that happen. My name's been Parallax Abstraction. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.